you can see, these old cabinets and drawers underneath the kitchen counter are falling apart. We could just replace them, but we want to make better use of this space. So today, we're going to add a dishwasher here, and that'll make life a lot easier for the homeowner. I'm using a reciprocating saw to cut this out, because this frame is really sturdy. Now obviously, you'll need to measure to make sure that your opening will accommodate your new dishwasher. This is a great tool to use, and here's a tip. Press the plate flat up against the material, and then bring your saw blade down. I've got the area cleared out, and I had to make this cut at 24 inches because that's how wide the dishwasher is going to be. But I still have a little bit of leftover space here, so I'm going to have to fill in this area. It's five and a half inches by 30 inches, and I can use this piece of lumber to fill in this. Now on this side, I'll put a piece of trim right here just to cover up these holes. So I'm going to need to cut this board. Okay, that's already five and a half inches, so that's good. That's the way it came from the lumber yard. All I need to do is go out and cut this at 30 inches. All right, we need to cut this board off at 30 inches, so. Mark that right there, and I'm gonna use a square just to give myself a straight line. And I'm also using a circular saw to make this cut. I just need to put my last nail in, and we've got this opening trimmed out. And if you'll use a nail set, you won't worry about denning your wood with a hammer. Now we can go make our connections for the dishwasher. All of the connections are going to be on the bottom of the dishwasher. To make the water line connection, you'll need to wrap the elbow in some plumber's tape and you want to wrap this securely and tightly. This will prevent any leaking between the threads. Now you'll take the elbow and place it in the valve and turn it as much as you can with your fingers. Then you'll need to use the wrench to finish tightening that. Next I'll put on the water line. I'm using my fingers again to tighten this up and then I'll use a wrench to make sure it's good and tight. Now I need to put the drain hose on. We need to take this orange cap off, put this on just like that. Now I can use a pair of pliers to move this clamp up because it's spring loaded so when I release it, it automatically tightens. You can use a hole saw to cut through the cabinet so you can feed your plumbing and electrical lines to get up underneath the sink to make the rest of the connections. This hole is two inches wide, so that's plenty wide enough to feed all through these lines through. Now I'm going to have to move this dishwasher up just a little bit so I can feed that water line through. Find the hole. Okay. Now I can push this up a little bit more so I can pull that water line through on the other side. Now I can put this dishwasher all the way in place. Okay, my next step is to remove these drain pipes so that I can get in there and work on the water line. So I need to use this pair of channel locks to loosen this coupling. Okay, now I can use my fingers the rest of the way to get that off. Now I just need to loosen these other two couplings. Okay, there's that one. And then I've got one more back here. Oh, now this should just pull. 
pull right out. This is so badly corroded, we're going to have to replace this anyway. Since we're only working with the hot water supply line, we can turn off the hot water valve here at the water heater. I need to loosen this fitting so that I can take this portion of the water supply line out because I need to put a T right here to accommodate the dishwasher. Bottom one also. Okay. I'm using a tube cutter to cut this pipe and this is a fairly easy process. You just want to keep turning it around until it cuts this pipe. Yeah, just about got it. There it goes. Now I need to add a T right here so that we can run hot water to our dishwasher. And you want to put the nut on first and then that ferrule and I can put this back into the T. I'll need to tighten this up a little bit. So I'll put this on here and give it a little bit of a tightening. We can put this right back in here now and tighten up these nuts. Okay, and also the bottom one. Now make sure that your T is facing your water line before you tighten these all the way up. And then again, I'm going to use the channel locks just to make sure this is good and tight. And then this bottom one too. All right, now our water line can be attached. Make sure that you tighten your water line up really good and then we can work on our drain pipes. I need to remove this piece so that I can add a tail piece for our dishwasher drain. And this is where it's going to hook up. So let me tighten this down. And if you'll remember the old P-trap, look how bad that is. So I do have a new P-trap to put on. Our drain pipe can go back in place. Let me line these up like this. Okay, now I can tighten up this nut. And you want to remember to leave your drain pipe facing towards the dishwasher hose. Okay. I'm going to make sure you get these good and tight, so use your channel locks to tighten all this back up. All right, now attach your dishwasher drain hose and use a nut driver to tighten up this clamp. You can plug your electrical line in and then go turn your water back on. Now it's time to turn our hot water back on. And the last thing that you want to do is put two screws in to hold your dishwasher in place. And that's it. Our project's done.